Claire from Diamond Painting Nerd. Welcome to another little unboxing. So these bits have sent to me, have been sent to me, should I say, by the guys over at um, Outdoor Tide. And um, I've done a couple of unboxings of some of their bits before and they asked if I wanted to pick some more bits out. So I thought I would go topical. We are um, approaching or we are in spooky season. So I picked up a couple of bits um, to share with you. So first of all is this um, off the canvas project. And I love dec decorating my house with all bits of um, Halloween and spooky decor. And this is such a fun way to be able to add something else to my Halloween decorations that's um, been handmade handmade by me I suppose um and so um so reasonably priced as well so I picked up this little acrylic it's not so little it's quite large this acrylic sign so let's have a little let's do a measurement first of all I can't remember what the measurements were when it when I ordered it it's 19 centimeters which is about seven and a half inches just over so it's a fair size plaque now it is also double sided so you do diamond paint both sides so you just peel back the cover sheet and the adhesive has only been added to the areas where you need to diamond paint. I probably will still seal this anyway just to make sure that the drills don't get knocked um, off or pushed over um, the years of putting this out as a Halloween decoration but I'm um I'm really impressed with this. I love it. I love the fact that it's double-sided as well. So we have Mr. Ghosty and uh, Mr. Pumpkin. You get a standard toolkit um, along with the chain to be able to hang this. So the chain is a nice, a nice size. And then you have a lo lobster claw clasp on the end of each of those to be able to attach it as well. So you can just hang it and you can hang it um, anywhere you wanted as well because it's double-sided if it if you want to have it it's like a spinning element you can do that because it's um it's double-sided so yeah you get a standard toolkit and then there are four different types of drills by the looks of things so we have the standard 310 black we have silver then we have see these look these look identical but they're clearly not because one is a and one is v so they are a slightly different shade of silver or maybe in, they've got these have got a, a slight tinge of a very slight tinge of like a gray um, and then we have these larger orange faceted ones and that's going to be for the big pumpkin down here as well so yeah excited to do this one i should be able to get this done in time for Halloween this year as well so that's fun now the other one that I chose as well let's just move this out of the way the other one that I chose as well was a diamond painting so this is oops this is the one I chose to get this time let's move the rustlies out of the way and let's open this one up the bits out i love pictures of haunted houses and um this one caught my eye just a very generic haunted house with some pumpkins out the front there really nice shading on these pumpkins i hope this is going to turn out as um as nice as i think it might i'm just going to roll this back just to get rid of some of those dents and the bends let's see if i can pull this cover sheet back Try and get it to lay a little flatter. We'll see. That's pushing that down. And I don't store, I don't roll my canvases back up once I've done this. They get stored flat. And then when I come to work on them, and um, they've had more opportunity to lay out um, and straighten out. And also when I find that when I start putting drills on top, that starts weighting the um, the canvas down anyway. So that starts straightening out any any leftover bumps and kinks okay so this one here is 40 by 50 so it's a nice size 
um, and so it should work up very quickly although it's square drill so maybe not we have a standard toolkit here you do get a tray tweezers a pen with a multi-placer and a squishy and a couple of pads of wax and i think you also get yeah you get a another multi-placer a larger multi-placer in there as well this is really handy to have so if you are new to diamond painting just starting out this is all you would need to get you started um and it's great that they include the multi-placers in this as well okay so then we have the drills let's take a quick look at these drills I'm just going to dump them out. <clears throat> now, I don't think there's any ABs in this one. So I think these are all standard. Yeah, they're all standard drills. We have a huge bag of 310. Um, so the background is going to be uh, majority black. That's absolutely fine. I know quite a few of them can be um, 939 or 823. But this is um, a lot of this all around the edges here is going to be black. No problem. That's going to be multiplay central, I think. Then we have, so it's a total of 35 colours. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Um, yeah, definitely no ABs in this one. So these are just all standard drills. Now they are, they are acrylic drills. However, um, the ones that I've worked with so far from Outdoor Tide have just been so nice to work with. Now I'll try and show you the quality of these. There are, I haven't found any trash and I'm not exaggerating. I found no trash at all um in the drills that i've worked with so far um they like in terms of little bits of plastic coming off i've had like i say no trash let me tell it back i've had like the odd one where you get um like a you get the sorry you get the little um hangy off bit but in terms of like little bits especially in the 310 little bits you get left over um i haven't really found that and i can't even see any kind of little bits coming off of these either to be honest, they are so few and far between. So although they are acrylic, actually, I think these are very good um, quality acrylic drills. So I love the fact that they come in um, their own individual bags. Um, they are labelled with the um, the number for the, for the number from the canvas, the DMC code as well. And then 1037, I think these numbers on the end refer to the weight um, of the drills in the bag so for instance this one says 313 on the end so I think that's 300 like 3.13 grams and then this would be 1.037 grams um, this really helps when you're kitting up if you've got different size storage boxes and um, storage pots um, but even if you are using kind of the screw lid pots um, and you're trying to figure out once you know how much how many grams your pot will take you'll know straight away whether it will fit a whole bag of these or not so yeah 35 colors in total and i might i don't know i don't know i might add this is 3865 um i might change that for ab's because i think i would assume that those are going to be going let's pull this down those are going to be going in this moon let's see um yeah 35r so all of this moon so i might change that to ab's um, I think I've got 3865 in ABs um, and maybe some of the windows I might change to ABs. We'll see. I'm getting a little braver um, with changing things up. So thank you very much to Outdoor Tide for sending these bits over. Again, no issue with a stick at all. Um, I haven't had any issues so far with the bits that I've got. Looking forward to doing this one. I'm oh, I say hopeful whether I'm going to get this one done um, this Halloween. If not, it'll go in my stash for next Halloween. It's not a problem. It will get done um, at some stage. And yes, thanks very much for joining me for today. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Don't forget to hit the bell so you are notified when I next upload. And drop me any comments in that comment section down below. And I'll see you all again in the next video. Bye, guys. I can feel it.